Welcome to Wies. In today's video, we will take you on a tour through this captivating island in the Adriatic. The top choice for a peaceful getaway on the Dalmatian coast. Far away from the tourist hotspots, Wies abounds in stunning beaches and marvelous historic landmarks, offering you plenty of chances for you to create some beautiful memories. Join us as we explore Wies, sharing our expert tips and must-see spots to include in your visit. First thing you need to know is, how do you get to Wies Island? Our starting point of this trip was actually the city of Split. Just as we did our trip from Split to Hvar, we hopped on a ferry and we did the same to get to Wies. If you're boarding with a vehicle, especially in the high season, it is essential that you go early. Arrive by car at least one and a half to two hours early to secure a spot in the car queue. Otherwise, you might miss the ferry due to a huge traffic jam. However, if you're a foot passenger, arriving 15 minutes before departure is more than enough to enter the ferry. Arriving at the ferry stop in Withs, you'll be greeted by a charming array of coffee shops and bakeries. If you're anything like us, you will for sure indulge in a freshly brewed cup of coffee and start with exploring the beauties of this island. Most visitors spend the night in Wies, but you might be wondering about the best accommodation. What we figured is that the best solution to explore the whole island is to stay in Wies town. This charming town holds a central location, putting all the island's gems at your fingertips. Forget massive hotel chains. Wies was isolated from the coast for a long time, so you will most likely encounter many private accommodations, particularly apartments and guest houses. Getting around the towns on Wies Island is easy, as they are small and all of the main attractions are located near the coastline. However, plan your transportation ahead of time if you opt to go from one place to another. Getting around without a car might be a bit of a hassle, but it's not impossible. The cheapest and most convenient way of getting around is the local bus. Even though they tend to meet all ferries at the port, we still recommend checking the timetables upon your arrival. If you're feeling extra adventurous, rent a scooter or a bike and explore the island at your own pace. Uber does not operate on the island, but there are local taxi providers often to be found near the port. This is especially useful if you are planning to visit several beaches on the island. Beach hopping is a popular activity done on the island. The sea is crystal clear and the beaches are well maintained, making them ideal for a relaxing day filled with sunbathing and swimming. One of the most popular beaches on the island is Stiniva Beach, a secluded haven in the southern part of Wies. Its pristine turquoise waters and towering cliffs secure the Stiniva Beach an amazing recognition, the title of Europe's most beautiful beach in 2016. Additionally, Stiniva's distinct charm caught the eye of filmmakers, making it a key filming location for the iconic movie Mamma Mia 2. To reach Stiniva, you can take a scenic car ride to a nearby parking area and hike down the trail, or navigate through crystal clear sea on a boat to this secluded paradise. We recommend you access the beach by boat rather than on foot, as the way down is steep and not a great option if you carry many things with you. Moreover, consider bringing your own food and drinks as the nearby cafe can be quite pricey. For those seeking diverse coastal experiences, other beaches worth a visit include Srebrenica Beach, known for its beautiful stony layout and plenty of shade, and Stonchica, with its soft sandy cover perfect for playing sports. To get the most out of your time in Wies, a visit to Komija is a must. The small fisherman town is well known for its stone houses, narrow streets and a stunning waterfront. As the oldest settlement on the island, it offers a glimpse into the past time. History enthusiasts will enjoy a visit to the Church of St. Nicholas and the mighty Komija Fortress, which offers amazing views of the surrounding area. The vibrant local culture, along with the easy pace of the island, serve as a peaceful relaxing retreat. Moreover, Komija is becoming increasingly popular with tourists as a starting point for one of the most famous natural attractions of the island. We couldn't help but dedicate some time to the enchanting Blue Cave. It's located on the small island of Bishevo, which is just a 15-minute speedboat drive from Komija. Once you're inside, you will be mesmerized by the illuminating blue light of the water. Keep in mind that visits to the Blue Cave last no more than 20 minutes due to its size. Also, swimming is not allowed, but the pictures you'll take inside are going to make up for it. Other than visiting the island's hidden natural gems and strolling through the charming streets of the old town, 
there is so much more you can do. Take a break from the usual activities and embark on a military tour with the island's former military landmarks. Additionally, indulge in local culinary delights by trying Komishka Pekka or Taste Vugava, a dry white wine typical for this area. So, fellow travelers, we hope this video helped you gain some insight into this magical island. This is waiting for you with its picturesque nature, lovely towns and undeniable beauty. If you have stories to share or questions to ask, drop them in the comments below. Until next time, happy travels!